Many people have wondered, what happens to the KGB? Come to that, what happens to the CIA? In the day of democratic revolution and the collapse of our super enemy. Well, Philip Knightley, who is probably the most knowledgeable, certainly the most skeptical of historians of espionage, has given in this not very secret memo three reasons why he's convinced spy agencies will survive. One, in the world of espionage, it's often impossible to tell success from failure. A timely warning of attack allows the intended victim to prepare, which causes the aggressor to change his mind. The warning then appears to have been wrong. Two, failure can be due to incorrect analysis by the government of the agency's separate information. The warning was there, but the government failed to heed it. This was the British intelligence's explanation for the Falklands debacle. And third, the agency could have offered timely warning had it not been starved for funds. I think the last is probably the best. As long as there is a Congress, a President and a budget, intelligence agencies will survive and flourish. Alistair Cook, Masterpiece Theatre, good night. <laughs>